guys and welcome to Above All Journal and Day 7 of June Journal Journey 23. Today's prompt is, what does happiness actually mean to you? Day 20. Actually day 20, but <laughs> I don't know. It's confusing how I set that up. Uh, next year will be different, but I did bring in some crystals. I have this agate here. It is... Um, I think an agate I don't know I'm assuming um, I bought this just out of like a grab bag bin thing uh, but I love it so um, I have that here today and then I also have this labradorite heart and it's got a blue shift on one side and it's got a yellow shift on the other I love this one this crystal is great for transformation promoting happiness Promoting happiness. <laughs> no. Promoting psychic abilities, strengthening, strengthening your will, and stimulating imagination. And it is extremely calming. And it makes me happy too. So I guess it does promote happiness. So. <laughs> Anyways, I decided to do a little bit of art journaling today. I haven't done that in a long time. So um, I'm just going to be creating some art here. Let's see. Oh, here's some collaging I've done. <laughs> All right, mini flip through, I guess. All right. Oh, I even put the band there. No, I, I didn't make anything easy on myself. I think I'm going to work on this, like, sideways, I think. Maybe I won't. I thought maybe that would work. I don't want to be bumping that around. I don't know. Let me see. Can't see the top. That's okay. Uh, I think I'll work like this. And then you guys can see the page. Let's see. We'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm just going to start with maybe some let me put some inks down first to give us a little bit of a background. I don't know. I, I kind of thought about this before I started, but I really don't have a plan as to how this is going to go. Obviously, because I have inks opening on me. Hmm. I was thinking like the Walt Whitman quote. Keep your face always toward the sunshine and the shadow will fall behind you. So I'm thinking maybe some shadows is what I need in the background. So maybe I'll go in with my hickory smoke and put down some like shadows maybe? I don't know. Makes sense to me. Let's do It's not very dark. That's okay. Shadows don't have to be dark. I'll go in with something a little darker. Maybe some soot. Maybe just a little. Okay. Yeah. Some shadowy feel. Mm-hmm. We want the shadows behind. Let's see, let's do something else. Let me find a cute stencil. Ooh! I love the doilies. I don't know. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for the doilies. Hmm, I'm gonna do it. The doily. <laughs> it's one of my favorite stencils. Can't stop myself. Okay, so I'm going to do some up here. I don't know. I 
don't want it to be too standy outy. Standy out. Um, mowed lawn. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with the salty ocean. It just feels right. I'm just thinking like. Something to break up the shadows a bit. As I'm doing this, I will explain like why why I'm thinking the way I am, but I'm just kind of letting it happen right now. Letting it unfold. <laughs> Not being too serious. This is my happy place right here. Just creating, just doing fun. Okay. Let's do that. And now, let's move this stuff aside. to think. I can't. <laughs> you know what? You see it right here. Do just a light sketch of a circle or something. Nothing. All right. I'm gonna use that as my template <laughs> and I'm gonna make like a sunflower with some scraps that I have because uh, I have a lot of scraps and I like the scrap look so I'm gonna move these aside I'm just gonna start
yeah when I was thinking about like what happiness was to me I immediately thought of sunflowers because sunflowers to me are just like the embodiment of happiness like it doesn't matter what is going on around them they're just constantly watching and following the sun and um, there are f actually four stages or like four levels of happiness and within those four levels there's like material things and like material things that can make you happy like uh, ego boosts like winning awards or um, being good at something can bring happiness and then there's like uh, community like being a bigger part of the world and then um, reaching like a stage of transcendence and I feel like the sunflower is the absolute epitome of what happiness looks like like there it doesn't matter what's going on around you like inside of you you're gonna look for that warmth you're gonna look for that life force and drive and that's what happiness means to me that's what happiness is is finding finding the things in life that are going to drive you to be your best and just love that I think it's amazing that we have these natural examples in life to like be a part of like I don't know our world it's a part of our world I don't know if that makes sense because I kind of lost my train of thought there at the end <laughs> just doing my best <laughs> let's see what I yeah I like that cute little pink so anyways, that's what I was thinking when I thought of these. I'm going to do a double layer and just bring them closer in and then I'll fill it fill in the middle somehow. But I just love sunflowers. Like they not only do they mimic the sun, like they follow the sun around and that is beautiful. That's amazing what symbols we have around us, you know? I think that was kind of my point. <laughs> Before I trailed off mindlessly. Hopefully I have enough to go around the next circle. And I'm just gluing down the bottom of this so it kind of comes up off the page like you can see kind of the cutie booty <laughs> cutie booty <laughs> you can see the cute like it's flowy you know I don't know maybe that doesn't make sense Super fun. I always have lots of pink. And what's crazy is I don't love the color pink. It's not my favorite. But here we are. There we go. Get more layered. Yeah, lots of pink, always, for some reason. <laughs> Must just be my thing. 
Maybe I do like pink. Maybe I'm in denial. Let's see. Let's do another blue. Let's do one more. Let's do a green. We don't have like this green anywhere. All right. Super cute. All right, so now I have this for the center, but I gotta cutesy it up a bit. So I'm gonna use my mustard seed distress ink, and then we'll figure out what to do. <laughs> Just to give it some color. And I'm putting it directly on because I want it pretty drama, you know? Pretty dramatic. I don't know if I want to, I guess I will, I guess I do want to do that, <laughs> oh fun, alright, put that in the center, mm -hmm. let's do like a cute doily in the center, do like a orange, orange, like the sun, you know? Get it? I, this is not going to be completely centered because I'm awful. That is not going to be orange. That's going to be poo poo brown. That's okay, I guess. I don't know. It is not brown by any means. Or orange. It's not orange. Let's add some orange though. Let's add some orange around the edge for some dimension. Everything I make is like relatively flat, so I need to have dimension. It's really nice having some dimension. There we go. Okay, cute. I like that. And then I'm gonna put that in the center. Today's journaling is just really a, like symbolic, it's symbolic journaling, using art to create or show what happiness means to me. And happiness means finding that fourth level of happiness, finding the transcendence, following, following what's like, what's bigger than you, you know? It's not about materials, it's not about that at all. It's about following your heart. Anyways, I'm going to put my quote here in the bottom. I have this fountain pen. It's my absolute favorite, but it was gunky earlier. I don't know if it's going to work, so hopefully it does. I put my hand in it.
All right. So there you have it. It's very bulky. <laughs> Such a big book. So there we go. Keep your face always toward the sun. Shine. Oh, it was sunshine. Oh. Keep your face always toward the sun and the shadow will fall behind you. It was sunshine. Though. He said sunshine. Oh, well, same difference. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this art journaling uh, project with me. And I will see you tomorrow for day eight. Bye.